I haven't talked about older anime in this channel and the ones which are usually forgotten after the airing is finished and most of the time the reason they don't stick around is also because they didn't do anything groundbreaking and the show I'm going to talk about also falls under this category but this show is a bit different because it's a 12 episode Honda commercial <laughs> And I loved every single episode of it. This is Honda Super Cup the anime and I beg Honda to fund more of these. If you were catching up to anime last year you may have noticed this anime airing and most people either watched an episode or didn't bother watching it because it's a slice of life anime. And I understand why slice of life anime is not everyone's cup of tea. It's extremely boring for a lot of people and most of the time it doesn't have any sort of real story to go along with it. But maybe it's just me but Super Cup makes me feel so calm that it's sort of therapeutic. Super Cub anime is about how passion towards even little things in life can make you feel good and make a monochrome life colorful. Koguma is a girl who is the most monochrome girl you will ever find. Her father died when she was young and her mother went to buy milk. She's broke to the point that she can only use the money she gets to get by in life and she doesn't seem to have any particular goals in her life either other than to live a boring life. Koguma's life is reflected on the visual design of Super Cub with monochrome and muted colors throughout and to be honest I really love how they portrayed it. Someone like Koguma finally has some color in her life when she finally gets a Honda Super Cub. While what is said sounds like a commercial, it's not a bad commercial. Honda actually worked on this anime to portray Super Cub as actually as possible and I think that shows. With probably one of the most realistic portrayals of automobile in an anime, I truly wouldn't have cared if they just didn't bother with how they show Super Cub as long as it looks like one but I'm someone who's passionate about automobiles and I always get a boner when they show stuff accurately. It's not just the details, it's how the whole package gives a feeling of being rooted in real world and Koguma finding about how Super Cub works and what to do with it is such a joy to watch. But maybe that's just for me. Plotlines see the girls getting comfortable with their Super Cubs, obsessing over Cub trivia, learning bike upkeep, purchasing affordable accessories, taking on odd jobs involving their motorcycles, and finding ways to stay warm while riding in the winter months. I think Cub captures common bike-centric plates and scenarios with great deals of accuracy. Like I mentioned before, the show has a very muted color tone and that is used in a genius way to show Koguma's feelings. Because when Koguma feels happy, which is usually with a Super Cub, the saturation goes up. And I think that's a very good way to show emotions because Koguma's smile just cheers up her whole life, which is monotone most of the time. And it's not just the visuals, the music on this show is also up there because it's also part of that healing factor which I talked about. It's extremely calm throughout and the entire cast doesn't go against it with over the top performances. That doesn't mean the side characters are bad because they are one of the key factors of making Koguma's monochrome life into a more colorful one. And each of them fulfill that duty beautifully. Koguma, Reiko, she may share vastly different experiences from others but the roots of their passions and universal it's the desire to achieve a goal and overtaking the objective more worthwhile on a personal level. It's cool to see those desires realized and club emulates that joy. And sure tasks like changing motor oil or delivering documents are tiny and unremarkable from a distance but it is something and that means all the world to Koguma. Super Cub is still an anime about a very niche subject and top of that it's a slice of life anime so it's not doing any favors in catching the viewers attention department unless you're someone like me but it's not completely devoid of little drama here and there to spice up a chill anime throughout which I do appreciate even though it really felt like an afterthought but what super cub still does for me is healing it's not a show about rubber man finding a non-existent treasure nor its initial deracing but it is one of the purest slice of life experiences you can get cub draws us in with this effective episodic story structure each installment establishes clear needs and patiently shows its process undertaken to achieve these goals, obstacles are introduced and resolved by end of each episode, an audience winds up sharing the same satisfaction that our characters do. I know that this observation is hardly revelatory and setup payoff is the most basic writing concept there is, but Cub is noteworthy for how stripped down its methodology is, with little else to distract us. We offer our undivided attention to low-key lives of Cub's cast and are rewarded with a cozy reprieve. 
believe. It doesn't say a story like other slice of life animes, but it does give you that warm and fuzzy feeling inside which I just need sometimes. I never thought they'd release an anime about cute girls riding bikes and drinking coffee, but it's also a Honda commercial done right. It's almost like a love letter to motorcycle fans and slice of life fans alike, but it's still a very niche and the scope is pretty small. Even if you show this to someone who likes machinery. I don't think this anime can have a mass appeal like Yuru Camp or Kaon has because on the chill scale it's a bit on the extreme side, and some people may even consider that to be uncomfortable. Half of the cub's character development amounts to Koguma eventually picking up sarcasm, and there's nothing all that interesting about window shopping with Koguma either, and going to hardware stores. And it's not the sort of storytelling all audiences would appreciate unless you go looking for it. I'm pretty sure we won't get another season of this anime, but I'd love to be proven otherwise, and I'm still craving for that cozy feeling of Koguma smiling on a super cup. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, consider smashing that like button. If you enjoy my content, then consider subscribing to the channel. And that's about it. See you later.